I say if you bump into a whining, boring, negative slug, run away from them. Your parents told you to be nice and say and be polite. I say run. <laughs> Why? Because doesn't misery love company? People are out there trying to get you down to their level. You're not on their level. You don't want to be at that level. You want to be at the professional level. You want to be at the fun level. You want to be at the happening level. You want to be at the make it happen level. It's all up to you. I'm not going to talk about technology. I'm going to talk about the attitude thing. I'm 62 years old. God, God bless me. If I lived to be 80, I wasn't cheated. It doesn't suck being Mike. <laughs> But if I live to be 80, that's three quarters. I'm already 75% done. <laughs> Guy thinking. That was a, I went and had that taken and slapped it on a brochure and handed it out. That's nuts. I wasn't going to show that until Christine, you showed yours. I said, there you go. So there's another slide. So I said to the guys, I came in the other day, I said, I have two slides. But then I got home and I said, hey, OK, I found another one. So I have a couple of slides I'm going to show you. But it's not about slides. It's about the golf club. Stay tuned to the golf club. We'll be there in a minute. As a matter of fact, I'll tell you right now what the golf club is. I'm not a good golfer. But my friend partner was a PGA pro. And he invited me to a pro, uh, a, a guest membership guest at a, an exclusive club. You want to know what drives you to the driving range? It's when you're invited as a non-golfer to a club, all right? I didn't sleep for two months. So we, we got through it, we got through it, and I said, I need to take a lesson. So he said, use my guy, use my pro. So I went to take a golf lesson, folks, and you know the golf swing. It goes way up here, and it goes way over there, and you want to hit it 300 yards, and it goes right over there. Well, this guy, listen, this is really, this is important stuff. He had me in a golf lesson, I didn't, now tune in, this is very, very key. He had me go from here, there, not here, he said there. He said, put the club there, pass it through here, and bring it to there. I paid for that. <laughs> here to here to here. And then he says, okay, I think you've got it. So what do I have? He says, I don't care. This is, I don't care what you do up here. You got to get into, write this down, position. If you're in the right position here, the club face will get square to the object here, and then you follow through here, and then I don't care what you do over here. He said, go from here to here to here, 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 here. Hey, don't look up, look down. Here, here, here. And that's all he did, from here to here, here to here, here to here. You getting me? Here to here. There it is. Everyone got it? You're getting a golf lesson here. Here to here. That's your business. Don't make it complicated. If you want to double your sales, don't pay attention to this. Don't pay attention to that. Don't pay attention to that. What's that? OK. Here to here. I'm going to now fill in what is in your here to here. And really, it's basically three words. Position, contact, follow through. Everybody in this room can understand those three words. Don't make it hard. Position, contact, follow through. Say it with me. There it is. You've got it. And I said, what about the different clubs? It's the same. I don't care what number's on this thing. If you get the here right, you'll get the here right, and then you get the here with a little, little wrist action here, and then it'll automatically follow through. So I'm going to now fill in the blanks for you in some of the things that all you have to pay attention to. Anyone ever teach school? A couple of school teachers, right. Well, you'll understand what I mean. Let's assume for them. I taught fifth grade when I first got out of college. Um, I was the worst teacher in the world. Actually, I really was. I think I was the worst. I, I, Guinness Book of Records probably has something on me. But two plus two, they teach you as a kid, is what? 
So I'm a teacher, so I teach the kid, two plus two is four. I come back next year, am I hired again? Yeah, come on back, two plus two is four. 10 years later, two plus two is four. 20 years later, two plus two is four. I'm tired of this. This year, two plus two is gonna be five. I'm boring myself to tears. No, it won't be five. Two plus two always was four, is four, always will be four, and that's the way it is. And I don't care if you buy the iPod 1, the iPod 2, the pod this, the pod that, you buy the techno gizmo, this, that, two plus two will be four, and I don't care how you figure it out, but that's gonna be the answer forever. Well, the same thing happens in sales. You can read all the books, go all the webinars, do the seminars, knock yourself out, get the iPods, do what you gotta do, but if you don't look me in the eye, we're not going anywhere. It's all basics, it's all fundamentals. How many by a show of hands? Because I've done some research on this. I know what I'm talking about. Can I see the crooks? <laughs> that is a very, very intense question. Nobody raised their hand. You are not crooks. You are not shysters. You are not manipulative. You are not aggressive. You are not obnoxious. You are not a lot, you're not liars, you're not cheaters, you're none of that stuff. So why are you apologizing for wanting to help me? It makes no sense to me. You're not here to hurt me, you're here to help me. Major league point. There are only two kinds of people in the entire world. There's seven billion people nearly, there's six, eight or whatever it is, but let's, let's round it off, seven billion. I can get up on a Monday morning and I can divide the whole world into two groups, and so can you. You don't do it, I do it, because I'm a nutcase. Two groups, seven billion people. Group one, people I can help. Group two, the other kind. I'm not gonna talk the other kind, and I'm a nice guy, please use me, please, I beg you, please. I'm gonna go find the people I can help. If I can't find two people I can help out of seven billion, I'm in the wrong racket. Oh, you're such a very, thank you very much. Will you, what's your name? Karen. Will you marry me? No, I'm already married too. Well, then I'll wait. Okay. The, the statistics are with me, I'm not in any hurry. Will you marry me? No, you don't have to say it like that. <laughs> Did you hear how nice, you can, you can turn a guy down nicely. <laughs> Remember, I'm in sales, I'm fragile. You know, I may hurt myself now. Yeah, well listen what just happened. I went up to a stranger, Adrian. Adrian, I asked a woman, a stranger, to marry me. Go figure. If Adrian, now, this guy, I'm not gonna marry you, I don't even know who you are, right? If Adrian said yes to me, should I have reason to be alarmed? <laughs> right? I think I have would be reason to say, what's going on here? Well, sales is the same thing. Can I have your business? Can I have your business, Mark? Can I have your business? Can I have your business? Can I have your business, Bob, your business? Chuck? I just want business. I don't care who you are. I just want business. Because I got to send my kid to college. I don't even know who you are. Well, that's what you're doing now. But how does marriage work? You pick a target, and you decide to go after that target, and then you say, hey, how about a cup of coffee, Adrian? And she says yes or no, and if that worked, we might go for dinner. If that worked, we might go to a movie. And don't you progress your way to a point in your relationship that it's not if we're gonna get married, but what? When? That's exactly right. But you're out there saying, I want business, I want business, I want business, I want business. It doesn't work that way. You pick somebody you want to meet, and you can go meet them. After you meet them, they're going to fall into two categories. Either I can help you, or I can't. And then you're going to move on like that. This is the great, sales is the greatest game in the world. Why? Because you can't lose. You never had it to begin with. <laughs> Customers, you can lose. Sales, the worst you can do is break even. You didn't have it, I won, I win. You say no, I didn't have you in the first place. It's a no-lose game, it's the greatest game in the world and you are one of them. 
in one of the greatest industries in the world. Now, let me, um, let me um, sir, because you're close to me, may I come over there? You want me to leave the stick here? What is that? So, no. First, first name, sir. Doug. Doug, I'm Mike. Doug, nice Mike. to meet nice you, to sir. You. Hey, listen, here's another nugget. It has nothing to do with Doug, but Major League Sales Point always ask permission to ask a question. Always ask permission to ask a question. It's a professional sales courtesy. Nobody does it, but when you do it, people notice and appreciate it. Doug, um, all right, we'll carry on. Doug, do you remember by any chance, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm screwing things up here. Can I, um, I feel like David Letterman. Do you, do you um, remember your first girlfriend? You do, okay, and most guys are now going back about a thousand. You can leave the room now, guys, okay? Leave the room, go back a couple thousand years. You remember your first girlfriend. Doug, I'm gonna tell you exactly how it happened, may I? I'm gonna tell you how Doug came upon his first, <clears throat> is anyone sitting here? I'm going down here. His first girlfriend. Doug, did you ever stay back in school? <clears throat> no, so it happened in the fifth grade. You were 10 years old because that's how old you are if you don't screw things up. <clears throat> and you're in, the, you're in the fifth grade, and Doug's minding his own business, and Jimmy comes over to him during recess one day, and he says, hey, Duggo. He says, I got some news for you. Doug says to Jimmy, what's up, Jimbo? Got something to tell you. What's that? Susie likes you. So then Doug does what every American male does. Don't ask me why, I don't understand it, it's in the genes, but then Doug did this, this is what he did, because, hey, Susie likes you. Oh yeah? <laughs> Doug becomes an instant big shot, just like that. And then he says what every guy says, here's where the connection is made, if you like, if, if Susie likes me, I like Susie. <laughs> Which one is she? <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, right Doug? We don't pick them. We were easy at 10 and we're easy at 60. I say that very straightforward. You Number do one, not two have kinds of people, to buy people. anything. You don't have to buy a ship. You don't have to buy the inventory. They're making this cool stuff. Have you, have you ever been on a ship? <laughs> yeah, you ought to try it. They're really cool things. And they're expensive, and you don't have to buy it. Now, do you know how many people there are in the world, ladies and gentlemen? There's six, uh, these are rhetorical questions in the interest of time. Six billion people. Six billion people. Since I've been born, how many people when I walked out said, who's the fossil? <laughs> right? I'm sick. Yeah, you, I knew that. I saw that. 62 years old. I'm not a fossil. There's six billion. And since I've been alive, the population of the planet has doubled. So if you want to talk about change, stop right there. People create change, people create mess, people create chaos, and there's six billion of them. What the world doesn't need, ladies and gentlemen, I'll go to the first slide here, there's right in front of me there, cool. My wife said if I do good, she'll buy me another shirt. She said, don't you have another shirt? I said, same deal. Okay, I'm not, uh, is this working? Okay, if you Google, you know what Google is, you got the, you know, the techie people out there, you Google travel providers, and in less than one second, 0.23 seconds to be exact, there it is right there, what do you have, 29 million of you. What does that translate to? Ladies and gentlemen, good people out there in the audience, you grow on trees. <laughs> really, that's what that means. And then I'll say, okay, travel providers, another 0.23 seconds, 29 million of you. 29 million people doing what you do. Why? Because you don't have to buy a ship. I bet you if you had to buy a ship, there wouldn't be as many people in this room. <laughs> so if you want to double your business, you can do it if you want to, if you commit yourself to it. And I'm going to 
hey, get a load of this. I'm going to help you do it. I'm going to tell you how to do it. Now, you don't have to buy stuff. You have the technique. You have the executive, the great executive, great organization. You've got it all. Now, I'm going to fill in the missing blanks in the next couple of minutes, if you allow me. Who knows Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young? All right? Not a bad, not a bad, uh, there's a foursome, right? Not a bad foursome. What do you call them? A quartet? I don't know. But they sang a song that I like. Remember this one? If you can't be with the one you love, I'm not suggesting anything here. <laughs> but I am saying this, and this is a true statement. If you can't be where you want to be, be where you are. In other words, I don't know if it's an American thing, I don't know if it's a world thing, but since I've started speaking to you this morning, I'm going to ask you, I don't know if I'm going to get any show of hands, how many people mentally have left the room into yesterday? Excuse me one minute. I don't know if you can count, I'm going to move around a little bit here. I hope I, I used to jump off this stage, but here we go. Oh, okay, there you go. What are you laughing at, lady? <laughs> It's not funny. I'll tell you. I'll tell you when it's time. Yeah. What's your name? Charlie. Hey, Charlie, great laugh. Holy God! And I didn't even bring Charlie with me. Watch that. Don't so come without practice and reading and learning and failing. That's why there's so many inferior people. I, I go out. I see it all day long. There's story after story. I don't know who trains these people, but I think the answer is nobody. I think the tail is wagging the dog today. <laughs> We need good people, and good people don't grow on trees. They, they, they're, they're built, they're created, they're studied, they're practiced, they're failure. And, I, and, I, and I, I, I give you an assignment, practice more, fail more. I go back to high school and talk to the 18-year-old kids. I tell the kids, true story, I say, kids, I, but they're scary-looking people, you know that. But <laughs> I, I go in there and I say, look, if you want to grow up and become a whining, boring, negative slug, it's too late. <laughs> the world is full of them. You've got to try something else. I say if you bump into a whining, boring, negative slug, run away from them. Your parents told you to be nice and say and be polite. I say run. <laughs> Why? Because doesn't misery love company? People are out there trying to get you down to their level. You're not on their level. You don't want to be at that level. You want to be at the professional level. You want to be at the fun level. You want to be at the happening level. You want to be at the make it happen level. It's all up to you. I'm not going to talk about technology. I'm going to talk about the attitude thing. I'm 62 years old. Don't bore people. That's the number one sin of people in America today, boring other people. Bring some creativity. Bring some ideas. You know what's not boring? You know what's never been boring? You know what never will be boring? Failure. Go really do something stupid and say, boy, is that boring. Isn't that boring? Failure is really cool. It's fun. It makes for, uh, for, for cocktail party fodder. It's great. Oh, yeah, you think that's bad. Listen to what happened to me. I mean, it's a, you're telling good stories, no one wants to hear that. We want to hear about your screw-ups. But don't be boring, number two. And, and what I wanted to show you here on this slide, we were talking to Ruben earlier about, you know, slides and, and lists and stuff. When you do your presentations, you're there to talk to the people, not to memorize scripts or, or what have you, but to talk to the people. And the picture, the slide behind you is called support. That picture says it all, doesn't it? I mean, that's all you need is a guy like that, and the, the message is across. So when you do your presentations uh, to the ladies auxiliary or whoever you do it with, just look for slides that support the message. Excitement, have a baby smiling, for example, that kind of thing. Interesting, enthusiastic, have a sense of humor, the right attitude, know a little bit about what you're doing, and always get better. There, there's, there's your game plan right there. There's your formula. Always studying, always studying, always looking. And what I do, I look in non-travel books. I get Plumbing Magazine. Why do I get Plumbing Magazine? Because plumbers are one man, they're like you. They're one man people, so they have to, a lot of competition. And I find out how they make a living. 
and I borrow from plumbers to see if I can bring it into travel. I borrow from electricians to see if I can bring it into travel. I borrow from executives at IBM to see if I can bring it into travel. See, we're all in the same game. We have a service, we have a product, how can we get it to market? Everybody has the same problems you have. So uh, look, at, what if you're a financial planner? All of a sudden you wake up and they're, they're doing it, to, they're pushing it on um, self-financial planning on the internet, right? Well, I don't know what you call that, but you can, you can buy and sell your own stocks on the internet. That's what's happened to you. So you learn from other people. That's, that's what my point is here. <clears throat> There's your choices and career path. <clears throat> Both, <clears throat> both, I might add, feed their families. People buy, I saw a lady use a paper clip yesterday. They buy these things. But to me, that's better for me. Balance, we won't go into the balance slide. Here I have sales, service, marketing, and health. But what's balance? Balance is, is work, home, nutrition, uh, health, exercise. Be a balanced person. And, and, and I'm not expecting you to go run a triathlon. I'm expecting you to maybe drink more water. I mean, you can do that. I'm expecting you maybe to try a banana once a week. You could do that. I'm expecting you to, instead of taking the, the elevator, take the, uh, uh, the stairs once a week. You can do that. But just add a little bit the more the of of so you're more balanced. These are the hangers <laughs> on. You ever, um, every, every single Wednesday, you sit down and you say, there's only going to be about five of these, maybe 10 at the most, maybe three home runs. Every Wednesday, I want you to think, is there anything I can do for my A business that I haven't done? Chances are you will say no. Everything's okay. I feel good about them. Why do I tell you this? This is a major, major statement I'm about to make. Did I say it was major? Okay. That means everyone focus in. Your customer is my prospect. That's huge. Why? Because in America, we want next. What I have is fine. I want more. So what I have is my customer. I already have them. So I'm not going to expend energy on what I already have. I'm going to expend my energy and creativity and contacts and drive to what I can get next. And what I can get next is your customer. I'm working harder for your customer than you're, holding, than you're working to hold your customer. Does everybody understand that? Now, if you tell me you have 4,000 customers, you can't treat them all like A's. But if you have five or six or seven A's, you better close the door on people like me because I'm waking up at 2 in the morning thinking of how I can get in and knock you out. So protect what you already have in the form of A's. The C's, I wouldn't cross the street for C's. Nice people, but nice, you know, you want to come in, you want to talk to me, you come over. I'm not going out there, you come over here. Boy, is he rude, is he obnoxious. No, I'm not. I can't be all things to all people. I want to spend my energy, I want to spend my energy here, get that nailed down, and then go out and spend it all in the bees. And the bees are where I send in my emails and my seminars and my communications and my blogs and my websites. That's all for the bees to feel more comfortable with me. So does everybody understand that? Protect what you have, then go out and play the marketing game. And the, the funnel, if you will, is we go from suspects, and that's the fun of it. Let's go find out in this room who enjoys sailing? <coughs> Who's thinking of travel? Who has kids? Let's go find out who has kids that are 15 years old. Why do I, and I like this one for, as a father, let's go find out who has daughters who are 15 years old. Now, why would I want to do that? Why would I want to go f locate families with daughters who are 15-ish? And then what? And now after 16, what happens? At 17, and then after 17, what happens? 18, and then 22, and then they're gone. Then, yeah. <laughs> no promise, they come back. Yeah, but yeah, exactly. But I'm saying, fathers, you know that, all of a sudden, I remember when he was a kid, now he's in high school, bingo, they're going to be gone. What better time? If you're not going to take a family cruise, you're going to miss out on this. 
You're going to miss out on it. Now, it's not my family. It's not my problem, but you're going to miss out on it. So you locate people and remind them. And you remind people. I'll tell you why you remind people. That okay, I'm on. Okay. Hey, here I am with my good friend Ruben. He stopped by the booth. Ruben, you went to both programs in the morning. The I go to every day. class you have because the knowledge and the training I get is invaluable. Very you, important. You, is there anything? Is there any one thing particular that you picked up from today's program, for example, or even yesterday's? Well, it? the two biggest things I picked up from you were the three-foot rule and the elevator speech right. that we have to use. Yep. And always you'll be smiling and getting new business and customers. And you have to remember, not everyone's going to like you. So you're going to do business with people that like you, and the people that don't like you, not everyone's going to like you. There's only two kinds of people. Two kinds of people, people in the world. People you can help. And people you can help. That's exactly right. The guy's a great student. Hey, Ruben, thanks for stopping by. Hey, very good, man. Nice to meet you. Show, man. <laughs> All right, this is a, a special guest came into the booth, John Lovell. He is Mr. Big from Vacation.com, and he's in my little booth here. How cool is that? John, good to see you. Nice seeing you too, Mike. Congratulations. Thank you. And, and what's going through your head? You're hiring a guy with a New Jersey accent at 7 a.m. in the morning. What's with that, man? Well, y you know, you got to have the guy with the New Jersey accent, the New York accent, to make sure they're awake at 7 a.m. You know, if you throw in some guy like me from Seattle, it just won't work. So you need the East yeah. Coast guy with the attitude, right? The, the attitude is everything. And a little wacky, maybe. Little wacky helps. Little wacky. Yeah. Little content, not much. Little content. No, no. Let's get that straight. A lot of content. A lot of content. A lot of okay, content. Beautiful. That's little lot, wacky. Little wacky. <laughs> High energy. High energy. And people will respond to it. Well, let me tell you this. This this organization, as cool as it is, is about to take off because Mr. Lovell is in the pilot's chair. Johnny, Thanks, Mike. congratulations, man, and let's bring us right to the top. To the top we're going. To we're go hey, you heard it here. We're going to, to the, the top. top. Right That's now. it. I'm telling you, I, no, in all okay, seriousness, so. everything I learned, I learned from this guy That's, right here. And this guy is not only a great trainer, he's a phenomenal sailor. Well, I, I was going to, you beat me to the punch. That we, we bonded because we like sailing together. Love. We, love is the right word. Love, love sailing together. And how do you not love a fellow sailor? I mean, we, Absolutely. And you can get so many lessons from it in life as far as trimming your sails and using your marketing plan to go and, forward. And, and moving forward when the wind is adverse to you. I mean, exactly. when you have all of the problems, you keep plugging away and exactly. you will get to where you want to go. And you get home. And I've been in the business since night, and you get home. There you go. Right? You get home. We've always got home. Exactly. Since 1984, I've been in this business, and I, ha I bump into a handful of guys that I really think are cool. This is one of them. Bernie, always a pleasure. Always man. a pleasure seeing you, and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Yes. Oh, you will. I will. Leave your notes home. No, I'm going to take no, notes. No, no notes. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm a state cowboy, but he was quick to remind me that it was Auburn University. Auburn University. And, and you're still talking to me. Absolutely. Now, yeah. now, why would anybody in their right mind, David, get up at 7 o'clock in the morning to come listen to a guy with a New Jersey accent? Because you have good stuff. Good stuff? You, you have, yes, sir. I learned a lot from you. You get it. matter of fact, I bought these. I bought this success. The success series. Success series. Yes, from we the did. five amigos. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Wait a minute. This is worth capturing on tape. David is a customer of ours, fellows. So therefore, did you know that we've sold one of those now? Uh, 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 that one? <laughs> <laughs> and here he is. You're looking at the man right here. That's <laughs> and, and it's good stuff. It's yeah. good stuff. Yeah, it's it's, it's stuff you already knew, I bet. But it's just a reminder. Well, no, there's, some, there's a lot of stuff in that I didn't know. There's uh -huh. a lot of stuff that I think everyone can learn from the series. But uh, it, 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 even if you know it, it's good to have a refresher. Right it's there. good to see it from a different perspective. But it's great. I yeah, like good. It. Thank, yeah. You. Yeah. thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Speak right away. Let me speak get into the mic. Right into the mic. Hi, Mike. Mike. So, so who are you with, MSC now? Mike. No. Oh, you were Azamara oh, Club oh, now Cruises. It, now it's Azamara I do this on now. purpose to confuse hey, you. How have you been? I've been phenomenal and as amazing. Hey, how come? As, as, as amazing. As amazing. How cool are you? Azamara Club hey, listen, Cruises. As have, amazing. Why weren't you at my seven o'clock show this morning, though? I mean, look, there's, there's I, the guy, he's working there. You, you're missing the show. And, and I was working too. Larry Pimentel, our CEO, oh, had, right. yeah, was yeah, a I, keynote speaker. I, I he was did there. a phenomenal job. Did, did, did he not do he a did phenomenal, phenomenal job? I, I taught Larry everything he knows. I bet you don't forget Larry's he steals, name, do you? He steals a lot of my material, this guy Larry. He's, big, he's a big shot from oh, Azamara, Mike, right? Mike, Mike, right? Mike, Mike, right? Mike, 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 Mike. Hey, listen, we got to take this show on the road. You know, this We should. Now that you know where I'm at. Yeah, I know where you're at, but you never put out at the end of a sentence because it does 
doesn't, in English it doesn't work never that way, but never put out at the end of a, of a sentence. sentence. But we should take this show on the road, Carmen. The Mike and Carmen show. There you go. It would be a show. We have a radio show. Hey, I'll get sold back out. to you. It would and, be sold out. And would, now that Oprah's no sold. longer on, I mean, I really think... They're, they're hungry for people like us. We would be perfect. We would be perfect. It would be okay. as amazing. All right, stay tuned. It'll be as amazing. As I love amazing. that, as amazing. The Mike and Carmen. Carmen show. Hey, hey, in that order. You not Carmen, it. Mike. Mike and Carmen. You can go first. There you go. Age before beauty. Always a pleasure to see you. You are adorable. <laughs> okay, we, 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 pick, we pick straws. Julie's going to go first to say something nice about Mike. Go ahead, Julie. Nice. That's the key. Uh, uh, just... Thank you very much. Okay, we're running out of time. Okay, do you have... <laughs> okay, no. Hey, I'll, I'll... I have to be nice. You have to be nice. I'll be nice. Okay, Julie's got the microphone. Here we go. go I ahead. was telling him that the thing I got most out of the VCOM conference last year was his owner-manager think tank. It's one of the reasons why I came back this year, and I'm attending all of his crazy early classes. Terrific. But it's worth it. I love that. The crazy early classes. Uh, I'm Julie, an East Coaster, but I still like to sleep in. And she shoots from the hip, this woman right here. <laughs> and speaking of East Coast, we're going to swing down to Nashville to Annette Kegel to see what Annette has to say. Definitely worth getting up. Most definitely. Always. Well, Motivational. Been? Always motiv always did you always motivation and Tennessee people do not lie. Remember that, right? And Julie, do you want any final words? East no. poster that you are. Just thank you. I appreciate your help. It was a thank joy. It was a joy having you both there. And thanks. And if you want to see this, wait. Give me two hours and then go on YouTube tonight. This will be all over the world. <laughs>